Is Santa Claus going to bring us more homes for the holidays? Doesn't look like it. Hi, Rick McConey with EXP Realty. I'm going to show you where our inventory is now and where we trend and what it might look like going into the holidays this year. Now, you know that I don't predict too far out. I'm not going to predict a crash. I'm not going to predict that things are going to be robust, but there are some things I can tell you about November, December, just based on what we're seeing right now. So here's historically where we kind of end up. So right now you can see this pink line down here. We still haven't hit inventory levels that match 2020. And if you look at the past three years behind that, We've always dipped down in November, December, and we have dipped down every November and December for what seems like eternity. I'll show you here. Here's all the years right there. So you can see that in October, we had, this is new listings by calendar month, by the way, 233,903 since 1980 to 2020. And then it dips by 34% going into December. So it goes down in November, it goes back down in December. So that's where it's been. Year after year, November, December, inventory drops. As if it couldn't get any worse than it is right now. So let's see where we're at now in 2021. And let's just make those same safe assumptions that we're going to see lower inventory. And if we get down to 2021 here, looking at this chart, here we are at 10,000 in August, 9,000 new listings coming on in September, lower than August. That was kind of a big surprise for most of us. But you take that 9,000. Now, we have 7,900 homes on the market today. But you take that trend there and you lower that down by 34% in December, we're going to be at about 5,000 to 5,500 homes on the market. That puts us right back to where we were in April and May of 2020, no, 2021. And that's when all the bidding wars and the fighting and really getting aggressive. So people were starting to wave appraisals and the whole market was described not as frenzied, but as crazy. But buyer activity is also going to dip during the holidays. So both numbers are going to start sliding down in November, December. A lot of people just don't want to mess with buying during Christmas. But some people have to because they're being transferred out here in January and they want to find a place they can move into in January. If you're fortunate enough to where you don't have to find a new place right away and you're able to sell your home and maybe rent for a little bit, December is your time because there's not going to be any choices out there. There's going to be about between 5,000 and 5,500 homes out there. And it doesn't look like Santa is going to be dropping any in our lap anytime soon. Now, we always go up in January, year after year, and we look. And if I take us back to this chart, looking at all the years, um, January is normally when we have the most listings come up. Here's 250,000, 253,450 for the month. I don't think we're going to see that huge of a leap this January, but we will be higher. So right now we're about 7,900. <laughs> it's highly possible that we'll end up with 9,000 homes in January if the seasonal trends continue. So just like everything else, just stay tuned here. Let's just keep watching the numbers. Have a great one.